uh, the Elia class came together at the AL first ALO longboarding competition. And I mentioned, would you ever want to do something with local shapers? I don't know everybody, but I could probably gather a few and put the word out. And she, of course, said, oh, that's great. Do you shape? And she said, would you ever consider doing a class? And I said, no. I said, that's not my gift. I'm horrible with kids. Uh, you know, I, I just, I don't know that my skills are at the point. You'd be like the guitar teacher in the 70s is like two lessons ahead of the student just to make ends meet. Three days later, I get an email saying, we're all set. Everyone loves the idea. We can pick some dates for your class. And I was like staring at the computer like, this is already out of control. Uh, <coughs> we decided on a number just by like real quick hairy eyeball measurements. I can get six people in here, as you can see. Six is tight. Before the sawmill stuff was in there, it was a little bit but six, that's it, more than six, and there'd be elbows, and, and we just can't back up and look at it. It means a lot to the community. Everybody knows that the whole Bayman existence is, is going fast. It's just way too hard to gear up to get boats and permission to be here and there, or leases and, and whatnot, and make a living, you know. Um, it's just another thing that's slipping away and they're doing their best to keep things rolling at least give people this is how you know this area all got here stuff like this uh, the very first exhibit was surfing clamor the idea of the surfer being in tune with the weather and what's going on in the water is never going to go away well the coquina jam is an all girls surfing contest held locally and it's to benefit this year it was to benefit uh, David's dream and believe cancer foundation and they're, you know, asking for donations. So uh, I did a board. I'm thinking, while we're swept up in this whole girls' day thing, I, I said, would, it, would you be interested if I ran it as an all-girl class? So you didn't have any Neanderthal leaning over you, telling you how to do it because you're frail and can't handle it. Basically, you know, teaching women, they, have, they don't have that caveman thing going on so they, they're sponges they absorb every, everything and they're as far as the hand tools go they're fine with all that stuff I had them all when you take my class I will help out if you're struggling I will help out if there's you're timid like you saw me sanding but it's also because I I, it, I can't stop I'm a moth to a flame I got to sand I got to chisel I got to glue but you know I'm all about what they want to do kind of like at home with my women. I, yes, whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> uh, my version of the Elia bit is <coughs> in ancient Hawaii, pre-missionary contact, pre-Captain Cook contact, the strong, I want to say caste system, really, a hierarchy. And the bigger the board, the higher up you were in royalty. The kings had the big, um, I believe it's the Olo, like 18 feet. 200 pounds of koa wood. The common man size, they <coughs> want to run between supposedly six foot and eight foot is an alaya. There hasn't been a bad experience. I haven't heard about anything later on. There's never been bitter guy or you're a jerk guy. Everybody's been really cool. You know, following today, there's the Facebook blitz of people befriending one. It's more important that they befriend one another than me. I need six girls on my Facebook friends list, I need a hole in the head. <laughs>